thank you so much for clicking on this video i do appreciate it if you're new here welcome my name is keisha and if you're an old subscriber thank you so much i do appreciate you guys so in today's video i'm going to be testing out the born this way foundation i picked up mine in chai this is one of the new ones that jackie Ina collabed with Too Faced. I have it on right now guys. I will insert a demo of me putting it on. Go ahead and put my primer on. I'm using the Ordinary High Spreadability Primer and I already did a review on this if you guys want to check it out. The Illuminating Cream from Jared Cosmetics and I'm just gonna do about two pumps. Just swipe it all over my face. Now I'm going to be using a new foundation this is the well it's new to me it's not really new on the market i'm going to be using chai but you guys have seen this foundation pretty much everywhere i love that it has a pump looks like a really nice match i'm going to do two pumps at first and then if i need more i'll just build it up that is a very rich color a little bit on the red side i think actually looks really good looks like a good match there and i bought these online guys I'm doing pretty good at the matching and it's spreading really easy i don't know if because the illuminating cream is underneath but it's spreading really easy when i just put it on it looks a bit red compared to my chest after i spread it out it's like a perfect match I don't want to bring it under my eyes because I know I'm gonna put concealer there and I don't want too much product there so the two pump actually covers my entire face and I still have some left over blend this in with my sponge this is a damp sponge pretty full coverage if you have dark spots you may you know just need to touch up I'm just gonna go right where I need to get a little bit more coverage so this is how the foundation is looking on my skin right now guys and it looks absolutely beautiful and a perfect match <laughs> so I'm gonna stick with that same brand and I'm gonna use their concealer and I'm using Lafayette I have tried out their concealers before and I absolutely love it and I think Lafayette is the perfect shade of yellow that I need um, under my eyes and then I'm gonna go in with butterscotch right below that it's really yellow and bright and that's where I want under the eye and then I'm going to take butterscotch right below that so while that is sitting on my skin, I'm just going to go ahead and do some contouring. I'm going to use ColourPop Deep Dark to contour. I'm going to blend out the contour areas first before I blend out my highlighted area. So now I'm going to go ahead and set my eyes. I'm going to be mixing two powders. I'm using Huda Beauty with Kat Von D. I just think they give me a really nice highlighted look where it's not too yellow and it's not too white. It's just kind of perfect. So I love to mix powder. You guys already know this. And I'm going to use my sponge. I'm going to go in the Kat Von D. Then I'm going to go into the Huda Beauty. And then I'm going to go right under my eye. And just tap that all the way in. So I always like to set and then I bake. So I'm just going to leave that for now. And now I'm going to go ahead and set the contour area. And for that, I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder. And this shade is in Dark 40. In that same contour brush, I'm going on with a very light hat. Whatever is left over on the sponge, I'm just using it to carve out the contour area. Now, I'm not going to dust off the powder. I'm more so going to push it into my skin. Because sometimes you dust it off and you just leave the skin a little bit patchy. I find it's best to just push it in. Now, I'm going to go ahead and spray with the Mario Podesta Spray Mist spray is so refreshing and just before it dries down I'm gonna go back in with my sponge and I'm just going to push that spray in now for my blush I'm actually going to use coastal scent and this is hot pink I use this brush right here from real technique and this is your blush brush this is really pigmented so I'm gonna tap into it like that and then I'm going to blend it out the back of my hand first and then I'm going to swirl it to the cheek for highlight I'm going to use Jared Cosmetics Lucy 
I'm using that same brush. So I'm just going to outline my lip. I always like to use the back to smudge it out. Colourpop Calypso in the middle. And then I'm just going to blend it out with a brush. I want it to look like my lips, but better. 12.24 right now. And I just finished my makeup. I just wanted a nice glowy skin. I didn't want to concentrate so much um, on anything else. Just the skin. I want it to look really glowy and nice. I think I have accomplished that without it looking, you know, overdone or anything like that. Please let me know what you think in the comment section, of course. I don't know how long I'm going to wear this makeup for, but I want to go for at least an eight hour mark. Um, that's what I'm pushing for. We'll see how it goes. But so far, this is how everything is looking. Let me see what the temperature is right now. Oops. So that's 87 degrees right now. Um, so we're going to see how this makeup lasts. I'm not going to do any touch up whatsoever. But you guys get a good look of how it looks right now. You can see that I did put highlight on my nose. There's some highlight on my forehead and on the side of my cheekbone there. So I just want you to, you know, take in where the highlight is on my face. Now there is no sweating or anything. The foundation hasn't moved since I've put it on. It's sitting comfortable on my skin and I like how it feels on my skin. It feels like I, I have on nothing pretty much. So that's a good thing. All right, guys. So I'll catch you a little bit later. Okay, guys. So I'm in Bryan Park right now and it's now, I think like five minutes to five. I just had McDonald's. This is how the makeup looks. I think it looks pretty good. Not too bad at all. Oh, really see anything breaking up. I'm using my phone, so it's not the best. Seems like a little bit creasing right here. Face pretty much looks the same way. So this is my four hour check-in pretty much. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do another check-in, but if I do, you guys will know. Other than that, I'll catch you guys when I get home. Just got back and this is how my face is looking with the makeup right now. It's now 8.35, started at 12.30, a full eight hours since I've been wearing this foundation. I do see that my oils came through right around my nose. In person, it doesn't look as bad as how it looks on camera. And camera, because of the lights, it's really emphasizing all the highlighted areas on my face. It really works well with the concealer. I've used the concealer before and it did kind of crease under my eyes. Right now, I'm not seeing any creasing at all. Any Well, my eye, under eye has natural creases, but I'm not seeing any break away from the concealer on this eye on this eye just a little bit right near my waterline there and I think I was just laughing and having so much fun and I started to tear up on my forehead the makeup didn't break up or anything there re the makeup really didn't break up on my face at all I do see some slight creasing like right here on the side of my mouth in my smile lines there however I don't see it on this side so I don't know if I said this side a little bit better than this side but when i do this i don't see the makeup um separating so it's just like crease and normally you guys know that the foundation always break around my nose because i that's where i get oiliest the most however this foundation didn't break around my nose surprisingly but it just break like right under the tip of my nose fold right there and I think that's due to laughing and eating and stuff like that. My nose and my eyes tend to start running. And I think that's what happened. Also, on my nose, you guys saw that I put a lot of highlight on my nose. I thought the foundation would slip around and move and just separate it from my nose. But it did not do that whatsoever. The side of my face here... It's no oils at all coming through. And as I said, I ha I am an oily girl and it was really humid today. So, um, yeah, I expect to be a, a really greasy mess. And you saw that I even put on the BB cream, which is an illuminating cream. So with that, you know, I thought I was going to look so um, greasy. But no, 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 no. Just right in here, I can feel... The grease and the stickiness and I can see the foundation um, on my 
fingers just with my fingers and you can see how that kind of tones down the shine wow guys that that is just something right there so my first experience i absolutely love it definitely gonna give this foundation a two thumbs up let me know what you guys think we've come to the end of the video if you really enjoy the video please go ahead thumbs it up share it with your friends and family and if you're not already subscribed please go ahead and hit the red subscribe button right below this video and don't forget to turn on that little bell because that's just going to make sure that as soon as I post a video you're the first to know and I'll catch you guys in my next one Mwah. bye guys